Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at uh, data visualization with Bokeh. So right now let's start out by maybe showing you guys how to install Bokeh. So go to your terminal and do, um, you can do conda install or Bokeh or um, you can go on and do uh, use pip install Bokeh. Um, I already have it installed so I'm not going to reinstall it. Um, but I'm going to go on and uh, make a directory for uh, some project, and let me let me zoom this in for us a little bit so you can see what I'm typing out here. And again, what I was showing you is that you can do conda install uh, bokeh, or you can do pip install bokeh. Um, and again, so let's go on and I'm going to make a directory. I'm going to just do it in my um, my desktop and uh, right now, and let's just call this. Um, uh, bokeh project and I'm going to go in and populate it with um, with a file uh, so let me touch a main dot pi and we'll we'll open that up here in just a second um, so let me go on and um, let me open this and I'm, I'm using uh, Visual Studio Code um, again you guys can use any IDE that you want um, I just happen to be using uh, okay. Oops, and I actually need to move that, move that in here. Uh, let me move it to trash. It's fine, and I'll go on and open this one up. <clears throat> okay, and so let me go on and uh, create a new file. Let me save it, and again, I'll do main.py for now. Um, and let me go on and close that. Okay, so. Uh, kind of, we're just going to kind of do a couple um, basic setups for um, uh, Bokeh. So first off, Bokeh is a uh, plotting library for Python, and you can use it for um, a lot of very cool things, such as interactive graphics uh, and those types of things. But right now, we're going to just maybe be making some basic line charts. Um, and so, again, this is you're going to be able to do it with just a few uh, pieces of code. Now, Bokeh itself is actually um, a JavaScript powered uh, uh, library. Okay, it's usually it's actually Bokeh JS, and it allows us to display our graphics inside of the browser. So to do this though, we uh, Bokeh actually combines two different things. Okay, it it's a Python library uh, that defi uh, that defines the content and interactive functionalities of a visualization, and then a JavaScript library itself, which is called Bokeh JS, uh, that is working the background to display all of our interactive uh, visualizations in a web browser. So <clears throat> again, based on our Python code, Bokeh will automatically generate the necessary JavaScript and HTML files for us, which is fantastic. Um, and again, we can also, um, in, in some default settings, okay, um, Bokeh is actually going to automatically load an additional JavaScript code uh, from Bokeh's CDN, which is the content delivery network, so it'll work online for you. Um, so again, sometimes some of these, if you don't have internet access, they won't work. You may need to download uh, Bokeh.js um, uh, uh, by itself and then uh, change that uh, location. Um, but again, we'll, we'll kind of go through that uh, throughout this series. Anyways, and so we're going to go on and start off uh, creating a little bit of the code. So the first thing we want to do here is some of our imports, okay? Uh, and so uh, from... Uh, bokeh plotting import import figure and show and so what we're here we're actually grabbing uh, some necessary elements again from the bokeh uh, library and we're going to just kind of create up some some nonsense uh, data right now later on I'll show you guys how to use this with uh, Python and maybe even um, do some um, <clears throat> Some other interesting aspects, such as, um, uh, such as like some uh, maybe MongoDB databases in the background, that type of stuff as well. Um, but so here we're going to uh, prepare some data, uh, and so I'm going to use just two lists for this for now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, y here will be something like. Um, uh, I don't know, five, uh, four, eight, and I don't know, three, and let's make it go back up to 
six for now. Uh, and then the next thing that we're gonna wanna do here, uh, we're gonna actually create a figure, okay? So uh, uh, figure and, or the plot itself. And we're going to do this with a title and axis labels. Uh, let me move that just a little bit. All right, so uh, I'm going to save this in P here uh, for plot um, figure. And we want the title here to be something like uh, uh, a simple line plot. Um, the X axis, uh, I don't want it that way, X axis uh, label is going to be just, um, you know, lowercase x. Um, and then here we're going to have our Y axis label is going to just be Y. You know what, let me clean this up just a little bit. Whoops, I don't want that. I said I don't want that. All right, I have to do it this way. All right, and then I'll tab these over a little bit so they look clean for now. Um, all right, so here we actually have created up um, just our basic plot. We've instantiated that. And then the next thing that we're going to want to do here is actually to draw the lines out. So, um, so here we're going to say add a line uh, graph and again this this here if you notice here we're just we're just creating up kind of the plot area here so I actually think I think I can actually go in and show that real quick uh, sh so here we can use this show function show P um, and I'm gonna run this okay and you'll see here that it actually will uh, run this in the browser and then it'll actually go on and plot it and let me pull this up uh, from over here really quickly so that you can see actually what happened oh, now come on and I'll move you over and I'll bring you right on bring you right on over here so you can see here that what actually happened is this piece of code here whoops uh, and I want you to go back down if you don't mind no I want it closed Close. There you go. Okay. So again, all we've done here is we made a figure. Okay. And let me zoom out a little bit so we can see that a little bit. So we just made a figure. Now the figure itself does not add any lines at all. You can see here that we just have a square box here. And then we have um, all of these kind of uh, tools along the side here. And maybe let me just go on and talk about some of these tools. This is, this is the panning tool here. This here is the zoom box, so you'll be able to make a square here and you'll be able to zoom in on the data. Then we have a zoom wheel here and you can toggle them on and off. You can see that this little blue line here. You can save it and again here it'll actually ask you whether you want to be able to save it or not and this actually saved this. Um, pull it up and you see here you can see it actually saved it for you as the uh, our bokeh underscore plot, the simple line plot. And again, it doesn't have any information on it whatsoever. Um, let me see, maybe I didn't like those spaces. I wanna make sure that everything's running the way that it should. Yeah, okay, so plot doesn't have any renderers right now, so that's good. Okay, so then again, you can see here that we can save it, we can refresh it. And again, if we hit this little question mark, it'll actually take us to configuring tools for Bokeh.js, or if they click the little Bokeh sign here, it'll take them to the Bokeh website. And we'll we'll talk about later on how to customize this toolbar so that it actually has <clears throat> some um, useful, uh, useful or non-useful. So again, so if we don't want this Bokeh here, we don't want maybe the refresh button, or we, maybe you don't want people to be able to save it. Uh, we can do that as well. So let me go in and delete that show. And let me go in and put this back so we can actually see everything. And so let's go in and add a line in here. Uh, so p.line, and here we want to uh, render with x, y, and we're going to create a legend label here, and we're just going to call this um, 
um, I don't know, example. Uh, or you know what? Yeah, example, legend. Uh, and then we want our line width equal to two. And so here we're actually saying how many pixels wide we want our uh, label to be. And I, I can actually make this a little bit, fit this a little bit better in here. Make this a little bit bigger for you guys. Okay. So, and then the last thing that we're going to want to do here is go on and uh, show the results. Okay, and so this is how we actually generate everything. And I'm going to do just show P. Run this. And now here we actually get our line plot. And you can see here that if we toggle this, we can move it around. Um, here you can see our example legend uh, is actually just telling you what this actual uh, piece is here. Notice we can zoom in. Okay, uh, we can refresh it and zoom back out. And then we can use this scroll to actually zoom in and out, and I'm scrolling with my mouse. Okay, we can save, I can allow it to save, and again here, um, I can go and look at my saves, and notice here this is our saved plot. So again, this is a great way to uh, be able to create your, um, your, uh, line, your line plots and everything. Um, now what we can also see here is if I go back and let me, let me go here and let me clear this out. Um, and what happened here is I named, remember I named this uh, main.py. And if we look inside of the uh, directory where we create this, it actually has rendered a uh, separate main.html file. So again, you can send this, you can put it on your website, you can do anything. And let me, um, let me go on and open that actually. And so we can actually look and see what this shows here. So you can see here that this is actually what is rendered here. It creates this uh, title. And again, if we if we look there, it had said on the title there was a bokeh plot. It created a script where it actually says, oh, use this CDN to go to bokeh. And again, we're doing this in bokeh uh, 2.3.1. It go, it'll go to the most new item. Now, if you want this to be offline, um, and it's not rendering or anything. You can use, um, you can download the Bokeh JS library, put it in here, and then reference it there, as well. Um, and then here you can see here that it actually created up a bunch of JavaScript code in here to actually create and render um, the 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 visualization. Again, here you can see that it's referencing Bokeh um, to uh, JS to actually render everything and create everything using the DOM. So. Uh, let's go on and talk about maybe a little bit more complex piece of code. Okay, so let's go on and do something like um, we're going to keep our imports the same and we're going to add some new lines. Uh, so let's do something like um, Y1, Y2, and we'll do something like uh, 3 or 2. Six, four, five, one, uh, and then we'll do y three here. Something like uh, one, two, uh, four, uh, three, one. Okay, and then here we're going to keep this all the same, and maybe we'll say um, a simple multi-line plot. Uh, and then we're going to keep this as our X and our Y labels here. We also want to go through and here we're going to change this up just a little bit. And so um, let's call this um, line and we'll make them, we'll make, I'll, I'll actually label them their colors. So blue line and then we'll give it a line color here is going to be blue. Uh, and I'm going to just copy this, put this down, and we're going to change this to, um, oops, oops, there we go. This is not a red line, 
change this to red. Uh, and then we'll go over here and let's say we want this to be green and we'll change this to a green line. Uh, and then we can go on and we need to also change these. So let's do one, two, three. And then we'll go on and show this. Um, and so we will run, let it run. And let me pull this back over here. Whoops, come on over here. And so then here you can see now that it actually created our three lines. So with our blue line being the same, and we called that the blue line, here we have our red line being the red line, and then the green line. And again, they are sharing both the X and Y axis here. Um, so let's kind of uh, recap what we've kind of covered so far today. Um, so things that we have actually covered is preparing our data, okay? and also grabbing our basic imports. Um, and again, this is this is the bare minimum we need in order to show um, any uh, bokeh plots. Then we need to go on and create a figure, okay? Uh, and so this creates a plot and, and it's gonna be, we're, use, we're using most of the default options right now, such as our title and our axes. And again, we can also, uh, this is also where we would uh, change up those tool tips. We're also going to add in renderers. And so I actually, failed to say that these are the renderers okay and here we used the line renderer okay again because we want to be able to create a line plot uh, right now and then we can also ask uh, bokeh to show and another thing that I did uh, uh, say is we can all um, we can also save as well so just do uh, save and run this as well and it will just save it as an external file so I hope you guys like this if you uh, did, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and we will continue this next time. Bye-bye.